students my name is somit mehta so today we are starting a new chapter named as magnetic effects of electric current okay so in this lecture we will see that how a magnet near the electric circuit deflects when the circuit carries the electric current okay so first we will see that how the needle is deflected what does it mean it means that the electric current is passing through the copper wire so we will see first the magnetic field magnetic field and field lines okay students so as we know that a compass needle gets deflected when both near a bar magnet okay a compass needle a compass needle gets deflected when both near a bar magnet okay a compass needle is in fact a small bar magnet so the ends of the compass needle is like this let's say i am drawing here the compass needle north pole south pole so the magnetic field around it would be like so the magnetic field in this region will be like this going from the north to south okay so it is coming out from this and end into south so this is the field lines okay students which i have shown here so the when the iron filling arrange themselves in a pattern so when some iron fillings are uh, comes near the surface of the bar magnet so they produce a pattern like this only so why do iron fillings arrange in such pattern the magnet exerts its influence in the region surrounding it therefore the iron fillings experience a force like this so the region surrounding a magnet the region surrounding a magnet in which the force in which the force of the magnet can be force of the magnet can be detected is said to have a magnetic field okay and the lines along which the iron fillings align means these are also called as the field lines okay students so what happens is the field lines goes from the north pole to the south and they are uh, going out from the north and coming into the south so this is how the magnetic field and the field lines occurs so magnetic field is a quantity magnetic field is a quantity that has both direction and 
magnitude okay students so the direction of the magnetic field is taken to be the direction of in which a north pole of the compass needle moves inside it north pole of the compass needle moves inside it so the direction of the field is taken to be the direction in which this north pole comes inside it okay so therefore it is taken by convention that the field lines emerge from the north pole and enters into the merge at the south pole as shown in this figure okay students so this is thus the magnetic field lines are always closed curves okay as you can see in the diagram okay students so till now uh, we have discussed about the magnetic field and the field lines and in the next lecture we will uh, further discuss about the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor okay so stay tuned for the uh, next lecture on magnetic field due to current carrying conductor students and i hope that you guys are enjoying the lecture then please do comment in the comment section students if in case you have any doubt thank you happy learning